Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to discuss a customer requirement and which is a very, very useful requirement. Now, just imagine that you are filling up a form that is very long. It contains many number of fields and most of the fields are mandatory. And you are allowed to save the form once you fill up all the mandatory fields. How would you feel about that? Think for a second. Yes, it will be not a good user experience with the form because the user is not allowed to save the form without filling the mandatory fields. And that is the problem. For that, we are going to discuss the solution in this video. So keep watching the video till the end. For this, we are going to take an example of an incident form. And we are going to assume that we don't have any data about assignment group and assigned to. We don't know what has to be filled in these two fields. Right now what is happening is that as you can see on the screen we have four mandatory fields which has to be filled like caller, sort description, assignment group and assigned to. But we are not allowed to save the incident or submit the incident without filling up all these four mandatory fields. And if we try to save and submit, it doesn't allow us. So, fill up the caller, sort description, and try to save the incident without filling up the assignment group and assigned to. You are not. Assignment group and assigned to are required. And try to submit also. No, you are not. Assignment group and assigned to are required. So we are going to develop a solution for this so that the user can save the form without filling up the mandatory fields. Okay. For that, we are going to make a UI action that will be present here, which will be saying as save as a draft. Once the user clicks on that save as a draft UI action, then this incident form will get saved without filling up the mandatory fields. Okay. So let's create a UI action for this. Now we are going to create the UI action. So for that we are going to open the UI action records using the filter navigator. Write UI action in it. And under the system definition application you will see a UI action module. Click on this. Control plus click. So it will open the UI actions record in new tab. We have to create a new one. Click on new. Okay, UI action new record form is loaded. Now we are going to give the name of UI action that it will be save as draft for which table incident. Okay, now we have to use it as a form button. Click on this checkbox. Active is true, so insert means when the record is new and you are inserting a record, then you have to show this button and so update when the record has to be updated means it's not new, then also you have to show this button. So click on these checkbox and click on this active checkbox to make it present on the form. Now just give the condition according to your requirement. For now, we are going to just give a condition that a user can write a record in it current dot can write okay now we are going to write a script in it now we are going to write a script for this ui action and we have to check two conditions first condition is that we have to check whether the record is new then perform these operations and if the record is not new means we are updating a record then we have to perform this operation so just we have to write a comment if record is new do this so check the condition if current dot is new record okay if it is the case then do this action dot set redirect url pass in the current object 
means redirect the user to the current object or the current form then current dot insert because we are inserting a record it's a new record then just include a class of x and utils utils after that create an object of x and utils class new x and utils then call a method of x and util that is called post insert and pass on the current object okay so this is the functionality has to be performed when the record is new then add one more comment if record is not new means we are updating a record else do this action dot set redirect the user to current object and after it current dot update okay our scripting is completed and watch this lines closely we are inserting here and we are updating here okay now this is the most important part very very important the action name the action name has to be this sys verb underscore cancel all right sys verb underscore cancel this has to be a action name to avoid the check of mandatory fields on the form when you click on save as a draft button then service now will check with the help of action name that okay this is sys verb underscore cancel and it does not have to check the mandatory fields okay so this is the very important part the action name must be sys verb underscore cancel all right now we are going to save it now our ui action has been created and we are going to test it on the incident form now we are in the incident form just refresh the page again and you will see a save as a draft button on the right side corner now as you can see the record is incident new record it's a new record and save as a draft button is enabled here now we are going to just fill up the caller and sort description and earlier we have said that we are we are assuming that we don't know any information about the assignment group and assigned to fields now we are going to save as a draft okay we are going to click it and this form will get saved and you will see that new record will be removed from here so we are going to just click on on save as a draft okay it takes a time and now you can see the incident form has been saved new record is gone from here it's an incident number here update resolve and delete button appeared here so our incident form is successfully saved if you want to check it just click on this incident dot list it will open the list of incidents and you can see our incident is present here we can open it again and we never fill the assignment group and assign to field and our save as a draft button is working now we are going to check the second scenario that was we are updating a record means the record which already exists in the system we are going to update it so this was the record which already exists in the system now we are going to change the subcategory to antivirus and after that we are not going to fill up this assignment group and assign to and we are going to save it as a draft so when we save as a draft the incident form successfully saved okay it does not check the assignment group and assign to has to be filled so our both scenarios are working as we have written in the script of ui action that is save as a draft this works for new record and this works for 
the record which already exists in the system. So basically, this is a demo purpose. We use the incident form, but incident form has different workflows in the real world scenarios. For the customer scenarios, there was a state like an incident. We have a state like new, in progress, on hold. And so for the customer form, it was like, you know, the state was draft, progress. Okay. So whenever the form was saved as a draft, it was saved in a draft state. But now the question is whether this functionality will work on portal or not. What's your thought on that? Whether this functionality will work on portal or not? Write it down in the comment and subscribe to the channel so that you will receive the notification of part two of this video in which we are going to discuss whether the functionality of save as a draft will work on portal or not. Thanks for watching this video. Bye bye. Thank you.